I'm a little worried that uh, none of my Instagram purchases have ever been worth it. Oh, really? I've come yeah. up. I, well, it's because you can only buy like t-shirts or hoodies. You can't buy products. Mm. That's when it's trash. I do buy products. That's quite a, a bit. what you buy like a, I, some kind I, of a weighted blanket or something. No, no, no I'm not. I, I'm not weird. I, I whoa, uh, that's not. <laughs> some of us just like to feel like we're hugged while we're sleeping. <laughs> I've, I've it feels bought. like someone else is there without having to have someone else there. Okay, I take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go be with somebody. Um, <laughs> the government growing babies. Microchips in your anus. All koala bears are racist. The ozone layer owes me money. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another phenomenal episode of My Mama Told Me. The podcast where we dive deep into the pockets of black conspiracy. Yeah, that one. And we finally work to prove that Bill Cosby did, in fact, try to buy NBC and R. Kelly tried to buy that channel where Mario Lopez be telling you about stuff in your hotel room. (laughs) <laughs> they took him down because he was going to own Mario Lopez. And you can't own Mario Lopez. You can't Lopez. own Mario Lopez. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that's a free Slater? bird, baby. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I call him the Mexican Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Not because he's dead. Yeah. But <laughs> Mario Lopez is still alive and still voting differently than you think he should. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's a, he's a hardcore Republican. I make sense. Yep. He's like one of those guys who wouldn't like people who are less than him. Mm-hmm. I get that. I think he is. Uh, he's got the same thing we talked about with like The Rock, where it was like you probably came from from a challenging situation, and you're right. like, I got out. Yeah, Figure it out, boys. Yeah, and it's like you're exceptional. Yeah. You also went to Bayside High, right? <laughs> you're, On scholarship, I assume. You're 62 years old with abs. This ain't how everybody. Good is. abs. Yeah. You know how? Because you know how old guys have like they have like old guy abs. Mm-hmm. His are like tight. No, they're so tight. It's cr- how do you do that? I don't know. Man, God bless you, Mario. Yeah, God bless Mario Lopez, and 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 not the God that he he serves. No, 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 our God, <laughs> our God. <laughs> he got horns, Mario. <laughs> I think we should talk about the fact that we are together right now. This is huge, and that Langston got a cool chair, and I'm on a casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love this. It, I I didn't pick this. The whole tone of it just feels like you're going to be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. How big are those? <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, why don't you get that shirt off? And, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see if your contract's going to work for the next year. <laughs> Tell me, do you like sex? <laughs> yeah, we've I been don't... reviewing your work, and uh, <laughs> you've got some thoughts. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. No, this is good. It's exciting to do this together. We rarely get to do this together. We've we've never done this in studio. Yeah, we, we are in the the iHeart Radio studios. Is that the correct? Sure. Hell yeah. Okay. We should know where we are before. If you we... can, can, you superimpose some black pictures? Up yeah. There? We didn't pick this page. <laughs> no. Tiling. We didn't decorate this at all. It looks like fucking a. Boys to Men members closet. I don't like it. <laughs> and not not the good boys to men men members. The fucking yeah. The dude they got kicked out because he was too lazy. We were talking about it. You're a Sean guy, right? I love Sean. I'm yeah. a Wanye. You're a Wanye because of the. Uh, yeah, he can he can cry without crying. That's the skill I've always wanted. Yeah, everybody knows when I'm crying. Here's here's the honest to god truth. I was a Michael guy. That's the deep voice, dude. Oh, in all the Philly states, yeah, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy is great. He's a he to me was the best. He had a cane, but apparently they couldn't continue to work together as a unit. He he's a sex pest. No, he just apparently was not a good group member. Like he, he oh, he was a lone wolf. Yeah, he wasn't down to like put in the real work to like maintain the success that they were sort of growing. With a voice like that, it's like you you, got, you, got, you can be you're not surprised. He was, that guy was never supposed to be in a group. You're right. That stands alone. It's like Dennis Haysbert. 
But then it's like, what are you going to do by yourself, big dog? I don't want an hour of you just talking <laughs> deep. Yeah. <laughs> just an hour of breakdown? Yeah, just going to be like, hold on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're only doing bass? Bro. <laughs> you ain't never going to do nothing else. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I like that guy, but shout out to the rest of Boys to Men. Well. <laughs> the one other dude. <laughs> I, have you ever seen them in concert? I haven't, but I have. I was performing. I used to open for for Daniel Tosh occasionally, and he would perform at the same venue that Boys to Men would be at. So, so it was like we, a double header situation. Yeah, you know, all those people who want to see both Daniel Tosh and then Boys to Men immediately after. I bet you that Venn diagram. Is better it, than you think. You think so? I think it's more people than you think. <laughs> I think it's way more people. You think than there's you. a bunch of Tosh.0 heads who then put on a fedora and go, it's voice to men time. <laughs> because they're both they were both huge. Yeah. Right? They were so there's gotta be more crossover than you think, I think. That's fair. Because voice to men wasn't like a black phenomenon. That was that was the country was and I will trans. say to that point. So few people actually become real household names where, like, my fucking dad would know who they are. Exactly. And I think Tosh falls into that space. And in that way, it's like, yeah, if you see Tosh tickets, right. you're going to get fucking Tosh tickets. The nature, easy. just the size of it. It's the same way that, like, yeah, you wouldn't think that they're friends, but everybody knows John Elway and... Shakira, that was it. Yeah. Now you 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 stretched and I stretched. <laughs> it's, you didn't reach nothing, but no, you stretched as far as you could. It. It's the lights, man. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure when the yeah, camera. Yeah, I just gotta relax when the camera's not our computer. And yeah, yeah. It changes everything. I feel. Yeah, I feel doing different. the show with bottoms is way different. <laughs> I was just kidding. No, nah, David know. records every episode like Winnie the Pooh. That would be crazy in that, my own home. Honestly, it would be the funniest thing that you could have <laughs> been doing this whole time. <laughs> if I got up, yeah, no. Just one time you get up and forget that you're, you're butt-ass naked on the bottom, that'd be hilarious. Man, that would be the funniest way to show everybody what I'm working on. Yeah. If you got to release like a public dick, that's, that's the way to I, do I'm it. I'm worried about a lot. Mm. Like... Sometimes I just worry maybe I sh it'd be good to get ahead of it. Oh, like put it out there before. Like if somebody's going to leak it later for money, maybe I do it for myself. Yeah. And then I can't be blackmailed in the future. Well, I do remember uh, when they installed our our cameras, those, those fancier cameras that we yeah. got for the podcast, the guy who installed it, uh, they, they give you that like thing to put over the lens. Yeah. And he was very emphatic about being like, hey, you should always keep this on when you're not recording. I was like, is it that big of an issue? And he was like, I wouldn't be get caught out here. And I was like, whoa, all right. And now I won't. I don't never not have it covered up. Really? Yeah. I don't masturbate to my laptop though. No, but I be, <laughs> I be walking around, changing. <laughs> oh, where's your laptop? Is it in your bedroom? Yeah, it's in the bedroom. Oh. So I just be walking around in there. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? And I, that's worse. I'd be fine if you catch me jerking off. That's me at my best. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's presentable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried you're going to catch me studying. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, no. You want business, not casual. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I get that. I get it's that. It's a game day, baby. We got to be suited up. See, you know what I mean? and that's what I'm saying. That's why if I, I just, I look at Kim Kardashian and I'm like, maybe I leak it. Mm. And then I don't have to worry about it ever again. Yeah. Like if I control the narrative. Well, I think the way you do it is you get uh, Ray J to leak it. You I gotta, don't want to have sex with Ray J. <laughs> you ain't got to have sex. Oh. <laughs> you just send it to Ray J and be like, hey, Ray J. Hey, Ray J, tell everybody. <laughs> hey, Ray J. Hey, do what you do. Ray J. <laughs> You're a busy man, but come on. Send yeah. this out to some folks you know and then see. I also don't think Ray J wants to have sex with me. Uh, no, I think I think it's probably feelings mutual. I, I would yeah, imagine. I think we both, I think we both don't want to have sex with each other. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think. I. There are some people who sort of feel very clearly in in sort of the the fluidity spectrum yeah and then there's ray j yeah he is hard that's the straightest man that's I ever think ever yeah it's like him oh fucking jim brown 
<laughs> and Michael Irvin. I think yeah, those yeah, are the yeah. three straightest They're just black straight. men of all time. They're just not, they ain't even going to kind of think about it nope. once for a second in their nope. lives. I don't think the thoughts never, because I think most people, the thoughts cross your mind. Like, what if I was into that? I don't think, I don't think not one day. No, I think Ray J's been at peace the whole time. Yeah, he was always like, no. Nah, Which is good for him. Good for Ray J for being that settled into his sexuality. He's like, yeah. I'm never going to even kind of think about this shit. But if I had one wish. Mm. <laughs> and that is what that song's about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he had one wish. He's like, I wish I could think about being gay. If he could just escape the <laughs> fucking chains of masculinity. The hellhole of, of heteronormative behavior. I don't know if we could handle a gay Ray J. I, I, first of all. He would have to switch it to gay J. Right? He'd have to. <laughs> Legally, that's what like they... Like, you just, you're leaving money <laughs> on the table. It's hustling backwards if you don't. I love this idea because it also suggests that if you ever became gay, you would have to be gayvid for some reason. Yeah. And I, all right, yeah. Gangston. <laughs> it all works. Uh, <laughs> I just know gay Ray J. I think it's maybe too much power. No, nah, it's too much power, and I also think uh, like for the love of Ray J. But it was all dudes on that show. I also think it would do some pretty destructive things in the queer community. Like if I, Ray J. Was gay. Yeah, I don't think. I think whatever like progress they've been working towards, is, Ray J. Would send them. Ray J. Back. Would send them back quite a few years. Which, yeah, because he would still be Ray J. He's still Ray J. Like you can't take that away. He's still he's, got the the weird promotions and the, yeah, the, he's still wearing the goofy glasses. He's threatening to get fabulous raped. He, he's doing all the stuff. That was one of the best days of my life. Yeah, <laughs> the day I saw that on on youtube like the whole thing yeah it's like i don't think i've watched a youtube video more for our viewers who are unaware there was a period in in what was it like 2006 it was a long time it was ago. a long time ago where fabulous and ray j had some version of an altercation i think in a club or something like that it was in vegas yeah they had something some altercation and then ray j called hot 97 yeah and just started lying well, first of all, said like he he had beat up Fabulous. He said he just beat up Fabulous. Yeah, and he was like, and now I got to talk to y'all about it. Yeah, yeah. And you then know he, that classic instinct as a man <laughs> to punch somebody in the head and then call a radio station. And then you remember he told he claimed that like he got arrested. And then he, they were cops were walking him, and the cops were like, "Is that your ghost, Ray J?" And he was like, "Yeah, that's my ghost." And then they let him free, let him get in his ghost. Yeah, like it was very, he was lying. They were like, "A man with that kind of car can't be held down." <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, "What did he say?" He's like, "I'll get my." He was like, "I'll get my niggas who like niggas to fuck them in the booty hole." Yeah. My bad. My bad. Love who you want to love. Yeah. Man, see, and imagine if he was actually one of those guys. Yeah. Would have been too much power. No, it's too much power, and he still would be threatening to have people sexually assaulted. He yeah. just and Brandy would disown him. The fact that she hasn't already really speaks to her character. I think. Yeah, Brandy's a good person. She's really, she's really held him down in a way that uh, that she doesn't get enough credit for. We always bring up that murder that, that yeah, she but had, but never being a good sister. Yeah, never being being just a loyal sister. Yeah. Sorry, Brandy. Sorry. Sorry, you don't you don't have the peace that you deserve. But also, I think a lot of it is because I can't separate Brandy from. From Moesha, mm. Moesha was a bitch. Yeah, Moesha. You remember was, how much of a bitch Moesha she was? She was a pain. She was terrible. Now I will say, her daddy wasn't shit. Don't do that to Uncle Frank. Frank, Frank. Don't, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, no, 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 no. Frank was a bad man. Too. He was a success story. <laughs> he owned a Saturn dealership. <laughs> he sold cars and cheated on his wife. That was the one time. Yeah, it was one time. There was, there had to be more than one. You oh, know it, and I know it. I don't like this. This man pretended that that boy was his nephew for two decades, and then was like, "You right? I yeah." Once they start running with the narrative, is the problem. You make one mistake, <laughs> you can't take it back. But you can't within that week be like, "I'm sorry, guys. I know what I said." Yeah, this is actually once it's gone, it's gone. You can't put that back. So you are a frank truther. 
Oh, a hundred. I'm a big Uncle Frank guy. Whoa. I'm an Uncle Frank guy. I'm an Uncle Phil guy. Yeah, Uncle Phil and Uncle Frank are in different modes for me, but I, I hear you. Come on. Uncle Phil was, that. that's just a that's just the father figure we all dreamt of. Right, 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 right. But, but Uncle, Uncle Frank, think... I think I could have, I've seen those dads around town. He I didn't, was a cool guy. I didn't admire that. I was just like, ah, oh, yeah, it was, it was right. Frank. We, listen, <laughs> agree to disagree. <laughs> Should we get to... Yeah, let's get to it. Nobody wants to hear about more casting couch stuff. <laughs> Unless you get that shirt off. That would be a weird way to start this video podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take... This is this is technically, I guess, a Langston and David episode, but we're going to we're gonna be loose with it. We're going to... Yeah, anything could happen. We're going to play with some emails. We're going we're gonna to play with ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> it seems like it's very sexual now. Like, we open that box... <laughs> You got to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lights are on. What are you going to do? Uh, stay here shirt shirted? I mean, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I got this cool Project Pat t-shirt. It is a good good shirt. Thank you. I did my best. Is this is this like a company that you you've been rocking with or you just Yeah, up they somewhere? also got I don't I don't know the name of it, but they 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 uh they advertised to me on Instagram. It's like a lot of like Yeah. Project Pat nostalgia. They got me like I I got some shirts that I'm gonna wear on the tour. Don't yeah, worry, yeah. come out and see us if you want to see all my cool T-shirts. I bought uh, a a weird pull-up thing oh, that you oh attach, man. yeah, and know. it works, but it also is like embarrassing to to attach it and then reattach it or detach it and like all that. Like every morning, you I I kind of have to because you can't shut your door when it's attached. Oh, okay. right. So it's just like this weird inconvenience. You shut your bedroom. I live alone, so it's different. You leave everything open, in like besides the front door. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I don't. You never see my apartment though. It's like a. I got like a open. I live in a loft, so it's like an open layout. Mm. But yeah, I don't. I don't. A I don't new sh- girl. Yeah, I don't shut doors in my house. Yeah, it's I, just me. I don't know, man. Even when I live by myself, I shut every door. Really? I shut my bedroom door. I would shut uh I'd I'd shut the bathroom door when I was shitting and all that. You lived alone and you closed the door when you pooped? Yeah, man. Anybody could come in here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you live alone. Who's but your front door is locked? When you're in hotel rooms, you don't shut the door? To the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I even turn it. on the light. My worst nightmare <laughs> is a lady knocking and saying housekeeping, and I my door is open and my my butt is full of poop, and now and now I gotta address whatever that is. With but she them. knocks, you just say no, thank you. Yeah, but you know how they knock. They knock and they're already halfway in the door. What happened to you? I probably abuse, but I <laughs> I don't have time to unpack it here. This is like <laughs> this is a level of on guard that I I guess I don't live with. Yeah, I live I live constantly nervous. Okay, of, that makes sense. Of things happening. I'm 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 probably too much the opposite. I'm like I keep it. A, I play this thing. A little too fast and loose. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut a door or two. See? Yeah, yeah. No, I might have to close some shit down. There's, Cause come on, man, it's an apartment. It ain't like a a vault. You. But I got a call box. It's a call. It's a call box building. Yeah, but if somebody's in there and they get into your your apartment, you're fucked. I, who's coming in? What are you talking about? I don't about? know. Murderers. Uh, uh, Ray J's people. Who, anybody could come that would in. Fuck, that would be fucked up. See? I No, I'm not going to live in fear like this. I don't like it. I'm not going to live in I fear I don't want like you that. to be afraid. I want you to be safe. I'm The front door is locked. Okay. And then I can poop with the door open. This, I watched a video today. Oh, no. Of, of someone demonstrating... How you can break into hotel rooms even when that like uh, latch thing is on, and it truly was just them putting rubber band a rubber band on some duct tape. They like put the, push their hand. They open the door l- long enough to put their hand to duct tape the tape on the shit, and then they rubber band that end of the rubber band to the thing that attaches on the door, and then as soon as it shuts, the thing opens, and now you can just come in. We have different algorithms. Yeah, I mean, I didn't what ask you, for yeah, this. Yeah, what are you? <laughs> but I, I did watch that and go, and part of the video was them being like, this is why you always bring your own lock. 
And I was like, I don't know how I would do that. Yeah, I, I have can. no clue. Now I just live in fear, but I definitely am you living don't in live fear. In, nobody's coming. Your whole life. Yeah. How many times has anybody just come in like that? To the hotel room? Yeah. Never. But did you hear that story? <laughs> <laughs> what about when you lived alone? How many times when you were pooping did anybody just come into your apartment? Never. Never once. Right. So. I Look. <laughs> fear. Fear is not rooted in in experience always. Right, it's rooted true. in in the possibilities. Right. Okay. Okay. Did, How many did people... you see that? Did you read that article? Uh, that I didn't. That came out. It's probably a few months ago now. About the man who who stayed at a hotel room overnight and then woke up to the hotel manager sucking his toes. <laughs> no. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Well, then, buddy, there are things to be afraid of that you're not considering. Do you know what I'm saying? I that's that a nightmare. That is a nightmare. That is, listen. It's a literal nightmare. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't want to take away from that. It's yeah. very scary to wake up and some Bro, um, Armenian dude is sucking on your big toe. That's weird. Imagine the idea that you then have to go forward in your life and decide whether you're going to tell your friends and your family what happened to you or live with that just pressed down in your spirit forever and always. Yeah, that would be, I mean, I that's going to kill you. No, I do a ton of things that nobody would ever know about. I don't think I would tell. Yeah, but this wasn't, ever. you didn't do this. This was done to you, big dog. There was a man sucking your toes and you didn't kill him. It's also like, I don't think I have the toes that some strange man would. I you're think being, he, you're I think being he, optimistic. He, I think he'd come in, pull the sheets off, and be like, yikes, brother. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, it's, not, it's not my I think you're future. being optimistic. I bet he pull back them sheets and be like, oh, exotic. Num, uh, num, 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 num. Uh, yeah. No, I it's, don't want, it's fucked up out here, so lock your doors and yeah. shut your bathroom. I don't like you fear mongering me. Yeah, no, I don't like it either. I'm a bad guy. Anyways, should we? Should we? Yeah, do let's this get email? into it because I don't. Want, I, I I don't want to know what the articles you read are. <laughs> I feel like that's just the tip of the thing. Yeah, to no, be it, gets, of it gets more fucked up as we go along. All my articles are like, you won't believe what Ice Spice did at Rolling Loud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet it's. I, I bet, bet it's I bend over and touch her pussy. <laughs> yeah. I bet that's. I bet that's the main thing she does. I can figure it out. <laughs> uh, we got an email from a person that, that asked to be known as M Philosophy. M -ph how does that sit with you? Feels like a black Hebrew Israel. Like, yeah, it it feels sense. like he's like, it's not, it's not the other guy, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. M Philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> but M Philosophy said, Hello, gents. I would like to be addressed as M Philosophy if this is read on the pod. My first phenomenal job to both of you on consistently hilarious show. Hopefully this email can add to that legacy now that the platitudes are out of the way. This is a go writer. Yeah. I must get down to the business at hand. So how do you here, spell business? Uh correctly. This guy's spitting. Yeah. <laughs> They ain't do no no Z's -I -Z in there. -E yeah. Business. That one doesn't even save time. No, it's just you, <laughs> <laughs> you just felt like being cool. Yeah, you just don't understand how words work. I get it. It it does sound like that, but yeah. spell it right. But uh M philosophy says, so here is the theory. CP time, commonly known as color people's time, uh color people's time. So not as smart as we thought M philosophy was. Okay does not exist i want to be clear that i am not speaking out of turn as i am an african an american negro albeit a first generation west african negro but a negro nonetheless yeah that's, that's your team uh, it's not about teams langston hey it is for me <laughs> <laughs> i assure you i don't i don't put on your jersey <laughs> damn that hurts also, what a telling reveal. What a, what a real understanding of where Langston is yeah. diasporically. Yeah, no, I get over there and I say pish posh. 
Ah, give me my French fries. <laughs> <laughs> they go on to say time is being controlled by by big time. Big time comprises of a global cabal that sets time and keeps time norms. The right thinks George Soros is a boogeyman while these big time guys are faceless, nameless and controlling us. Also, where do you think the phrase that guy is big time comes from? They are hiding in plain sight. I, there's more to this, but but I the, the, oh, I'd love is. to hear where where you already are sitting inside of this. Man, I love conspiracies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we do this. I want to go with this one so bad. People are just late a lot, man. <laughs> Come on, man. We've all done it. I was late to this. Look, man. <laughs> I, I was late yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the day before in Seattle. Like, we're just yeah. all kind of late sometimes. Yeah. I I, it, I want this to be true. I want there to be a big global cabal sort of uh, working against our, our timeliness. But but I will say that it, it so far, it feels a little hard to buy into so long as we are accepting the standardized measure that the cabal has set. Right. Now, if you tell me that the way that we've measured time in a grander sense is being controlled by these nameless, faceless sort of like monsters in the sky, I agree with that. That like the earth being however many million years old we've measured it is is probably false. Yeah, it doesn't really. Yeah, we're just making up What's shit. The year? Yeah, what year 2023? What the fuck does that even mean? given what we've actually experienced in the world but i don't but, believe in before christ or after yeah yeah, yeah. Or whatever the d stands for no yeah <laughs> <laughs> what does the d stand for in ad uh the monarchy some weird yeah. shit like that after after but now it's bce before current era it's like after current era. after the devil and then before christ i don't know it's something like that we should know that you're a poet yeah but that we don't study that what do you? Oh, the heart. Also, BC the heart. isn't technically before Christ. I don't think. I think no. that's some weird Christian shit that we did. I think oh. AD and B and Olivia. I feel like you're looking it up already. I like Either having Olivia in the room. She's texting her goddamn husband, <laughs> saying, "Send me that meat." Noted magic. Send enthusiast. me some meat. These boys won't stop talking about Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm trying to see some meat. Is what she's writing. She said, "Send me that." D A T. Like, Olivia, you don't even talk like yeah, that. Why I mean, are you typing it? It doesn't even say send me. It says S-E-M-M-E, <laughs> that, and then two eggplants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an eggplant and then that meat emoji. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so he does, so he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to get confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see all of it. <laughs> uh, it, it I, it's, what do you do? Ano Domini. Domini. Meaning in the year of the Lord. Mm. Okay. So BC is bef yeah. before Christ. Then. It is. But they wow. changed it at one point to BCE, which was before the common Cur era. Yeah. To make it less religious. But I think it's the same demarcation. It's still Jesus or not. Jesus. So it's always Jesus is the measure. And it's just whether or not we acknowledge Jesus yeah. is the, which the question at hand. Who? This might sound crazy. Yeah. Uh-oh. When was Muhammad in relation to Jesus? I think before, right? How did he miss that? Although, That's no, a I big think, miss for them. I think it's all the same after. God, right? It's all the God of... Yeah, he's after because... because He's way after. Uh, the Quran acknowledges Jesus' existence. He's, right. not, he's not not mentioned in it. He's just not that sick of a dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're I like, no, nah, he was a cool guy and we we liked what he was saying, but he wasn't like a, a savior. Yeah. If we're if you're asking me, that's Islam's first miss. Mm. Not right not knocking down that calendar. They could have got time. Yeah. And they that's like a real big loss. Yeah. It's really like that and nine eleven are like their two biggest L's. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everything else y'all have been crushing. I, yeah. I mean, they've done a pretty good job. It's yeah. worldwide. I just mean those two things. Fuck yeah, those two things really set them back. Damn. Yeah. 
damn, yeah, y'all got Dave Chappelle. You just should have gotten uh, gotten time. Got Dave Chappelle. You got I, what I assume is pretty much most of Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> most deaf be playing with y'all. Come yeah, on. a but, lot of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Whenever yeah. prisoners are doing good, they're they're playing with you. Yeah, yeah. No, they. Uh, they they're represented, but if they had locked down time, yeah, if they would have been like, man, before Muhammad, yeah, and, and I wish that time Muhammad. was invented by colored people because then it probably then we'd be on WPT. Whoa, then that would we, we'd be sick of them showing up on time because yes. I am. Don't come to my house. The basketball game starts at seven. Don't be there at six fifteen. Don't be that guy. Come on, man. Yeah, don't look. Look, you knew. Come on, you knew I wasn't fully ready. You thought I was gonna have pants on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. An hour before people are supposed to come. I'm truly not pulling out any of this food until the moment someone walks through my door. I'm gonna order it when five people have already gotten here. Yeah, because I don't know That's how, how much I'm down. actually supposed to order. <laughs> How many wings? I just got to guess. <laughs> yeah, I got to hope that everybody's going to show up. Yeah, no. come on. I, you know how many times I've been chastised by Wingstop for trying to take shit back? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather check myself before I wreck myself. Not again. You can't bring back used wings. Yeah, That's like, not how this works. Just eat the fucking celery. <laughs> and I'm like, I did not order this. I didn't order it. I didn't order this. <laughs> That you put that in there, and I feel like I shouldn't have to pay yeah, for that. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> You're saying it's complimentary, but I've seen the upcharges. Yeah, is... no, no, no. Throw in a couple thigh bites. <laughs> <laughs> they go on to say, time is broken into 15-minute intervals. When you meet people, it can be at 10.15 or 10.30, etc. I've yet to meet anyone of African descent that can actually adhere to these 15-minute intervals. They are, <laughs> they are either five <laughs> minutes early. Yeah, you you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> he says they are either five minutes early or 10 minutes too late. Meeting for brunch can truly be disastrous sometimes. So what does this all mean? I have it on good authority that the construct of time is antithetical to the circadian rhythm of people of African descent. Furthermore, time is constructed in a way different than the way people of African descent perceive time. That's a couple cool, mother- Bars, you like nigga. this? You know nothing yeah, you're, about this. You're, you're vibing with this. Yeah, please yeah. say more. When he said circadian, I <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, this don't, this ain't my rhythm at all. Yeah, I fucking hate Canada. Yeah, time is clapping on the on the the one and the three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the funk music. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's the one. This is we're James Brown, right? I, okay, yeah, keep going though. This is exciting. Uh, he, he says, furthermore, yeah, time is constructed in a way. Different way than the people of African descent perceive time. A couple of blown dinner reservations, no big deal. But I have a great, I have a greater concern. Whomever controls time controls the means of production. Frankly, what could we be doing with all of this non-access time? It is time, no pun intended, for us to reclaim our time. Thanks, guys, and keep up the great work. No, I don't know what he meant by that. <laughs> I, I think I, it started like at first it made sense yeah 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 and then i got lost around when i hit the air horn i do think that that if if what he's suggesting is true it is sort of the controlling of of sort of like rhythms right that like choosing 10 15 by his suggestion is rhythmically not in line with the way that black people function in the world and that if instead they would choose 1020 as a meeting time or 1040 as a meeting time, we are more likely to, in fact, be on time for the meeting experience, whatever it it's is. It's still based off that 12 hour, hour clock that they invented, right? So, I, yeah. So why would that be that much different? I, I I think if if he if, I think this might be a sneaky stupid guy. <laughs> <laughs> I I think if I we're <laughs> if we were to blow this out a little bit more, okay. I think the argument would be that we can't control the the structure that's already been put in place, which also does not jet well with the way we measure time, but given what we do already have to play the ball we have to play with, there are still ways we could be more uh, advantaged in the time conversation. But what I'm saying is that if he understands what the rhythm is, and let's say it's off kilter, right? Like, let's say it's straight up and down for white people. Mm -hmm. Our shit's like this. 
if it's a matter of 10 minute differences, why wouldn't you just shift your whole life around that? Right. Why wouldn't and, I? And, like, it, it seems like if he understands the rhythm of it and where our natural pace is, wouldn't you just be able to set your pace to that? Because I think for the most part, I don't think people would freak out if you were like, oh, I don't want to meet at 1030. Let's meet at 1017. I don't think it would make enough difference to other people for you to adjust your life in that way. I for think, the most part, I, I hear you, but I actually, or just be hella early to shit. Then that I you actually could just, worry, right? I actually worry that that if we were if if I were to go to to a white executive in any space, <laughs> let's uh, tell the truth, entertainment. <laughs> He's talking to you, Netflix. If I were to go to them, <laughs> Lexi doesn't want to go against hey, me. I don't Netflix. know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Listen, there's a lot of good people on both sides. <laughs> Fine people. <laughs> no, seriously, these strikes are wild. Stop. Yeah, uh, but also, I'd like a special yeah. or a fifteen. <laughs> but but I do think that that if we're being honest, and your your team, your people set you a don't time. do that. Why are you no keep no no? Doing that? Hear me out. Okay, you, your team sets a, a time for ten thirty, and you okay. go you go. Nah, tell them I want ten forty. It would get weird. But if it's the same on the left or the right, then why don't you just show up at 1020? Because because then you're just sitting on a Zoom for 10 minutes, just staring into a void. But you're still going to be at your optimal where you're going to be off kill. I'd eat that 10 minutes to be optimal mm. as opposed to just being, you know what I'm saying? It seems like there's like, the swing on it seems too slight. To me, for this to make any sense, right? I, I, I don't know that I am super bought into the ten, five to ten minute difference, right? That would transform our lives. I do think if we're again, if we blow this out a little bit, I think the larger point is that that the measurement of time and the way that we approach time is Caucasian in its root. You're very good at hand signals to make me. Want to agree with you. <laughs> you do like Obama hands sometimes, and then I find hey, myself... Bill Clinton is what I'm aiming for. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Trying to get my dick set. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> but no, I, I do think that there, there might be some logic to the fact that, like, when we think about time and space and, and all of these things, they are set. The standard is set based off of a white Jesus Christ. It is That's not true. based off of the actual Jesus Christ who was probably... Some sort of an Arab man. Yeah, he was brown. He was little and brown and, and didn't look nothing like the sexy... I don't know if he was little. Yeah, I think he had to be little. Hi. Because everybody was little back then. Oh, They were okay. malnourished. And but I don't also... think he was littler than the others. Oh no! I think he was like average height That's for then. What I mean. Yeah, I, don't I think, think he was, was like a, a cool guy. five two. I don't think he was like a center, but yeah, no, but like a power forward. You think power forward? I think he could be that tall. No, uh, I always thought of Jesus as a a shooting guard. Whoa! Yeah. What? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Really? Jesus was always a shooting guard to me. Wow. Maybe a point guard. If I'm being, uh, I mean, we can meet in the middle there. I. Yeah, but point guard is smaller than the shooting guard. You, you, you never thought of Jesus like low post. You thought of him like banging in the post. Yeah. Just, whoa. Yeah. I don't even feel Dizzy like his energy, man. He seems nails. like a finesse guy. We have his height, if you want to know. His the his presumed height. His presumed height was five foot five inches. Five foot five. Woo! I would have fucking swatted Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus would have got cut Oh, up. no. What's up, short stack? <laughs> Ooh, I'd have been on his hey, bumper. If you got some, why you make you so little? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call your daddy and ask for a couple more inches. Yeah, why don't you die for six feet? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, before you hang him up, put him on a little cross. Yeah, yeah. Don't waste the wood. He's yeah. a baby. Hey, we don't need the big nails for this guy. <laughs> Wait, can you look up how tall Muhammad was? 
Uh, I don't know that they can do that, right? They, they, they just looked up how tall Jesus No, but was. I'm saying they can't list how tall Muhammad is. Why you not? can't draw his picture. You can't document him in any way. You can't oh. also be like, I'll describe him as as six foot three with I mean, bulging if, muscles. This, this core response was, he wasn't short, but he wasn't tall. <laughs> yeah, That's kind no, of what I lying. felt. I felt like Muhammad's got like two inches on me. I definitely think Muhammad, I'm a little short. Muhammad was taller than Jesus was. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can agree with that. Yeah. And that's what and that's what they need to do in the Middle East. We need to start there. Let's all agree Jesus was shorter than Muhammad. And the new yet to be named savior probably going to be the tallest one of all. Okay. The Jews probably get the tallest one. Whoa. Just cuz everybody's taller now like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would you imagine this person is a tall person? I think that if the Messiah came back today, yeah, and he was as tall as Kevin Hart, it would not work. It wouldn't work. Like if the Messiah couldn't even get pussy on Tinder, yeah, no one's gonna. You know what I mean? Yeah, Kevin Hart's had to work really hard to make up for the fact that he is five two. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. I think that like just the way that we're set up now, yeah, I think if I think if the if if the Messiah was going to come back today, I think I think he had to be a pretty tall guy. Yeah, I think probably like six two, six three. Mm-hmm. Just like I, I don't think I don't think at least in this country I don't think we would accept anything. Like Here's the big question: Do you think he can come back sexy? Because there there's it's a... tough man. That's a that's a very good question. Thank because you. I've said it before a lot of times. Yeah, I think the devil is sexy. I that I was think, very sexy. I think God can be. I want him, he can be, or G, the Messiah can be handsome, mm-hmm. but not movie star. He's got to be like a guy you know handsome. Yeah. You know Jim from The Office? Yeah. That's, okay. is handsome. He yeah. can't be any more handsome than And that. not even John Krasinski, because John Krasinski, like, then transformed his body. Early. And turned, yeah, Office. First two seasons. Jim shit. Bad hair. Yeah. No watch on. Not, he's going to take his shirt off and it ain't going to gross you out, but there's nothing that like makes you go, damn. Yeah. There's no damn on his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No damn. I think it's just got to be a, he's got to be like a hot, like a 7.5. Yeah. He's clean. He's, he's, he's clean. He's in good shape. Smells decent. Yeah. Doesn't smell amazing. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're not like, damn. You it's don't, neutral. Yeah. You don't hug him and you're like, damn, what is that? But mm-hmm. you also are not afraid to hug him. Yeah. It's got, it's like a, a soft, lavendery. It's almost like you smell the, the soap from the clothes, uh-huh. not the body. Yeah. He's, he uses Tide. And, yes. And you can smell the Tide, but it is. exactly isn't. what he smells yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I can see that. That makes sense, right? Yeah. I don't think Jesus can come back sexy. I, I watched that. He's docu- got, he could be tall, not sexy. Yeah. I watched that documentary about uh, Justin Bieber's pastor. Have you, about the, oh, Hillsong. the Hillsong Man, I can't believe we haven't talked about this. I'm in deep. Yeah. Are you? Oh. That shit is crazy. It was very crazy. Yeah. And honestly, Justin Bieber's pastor is not the worst guy in in that. Not role. even. He's not even close to like. The no, worst I think he kind of was shit. into God. He just loved pussy. Yeah, he loved side pussy yeah, and, yeah. and like cool backpacks. Yeah, which who among us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But I think part of the problem that eventually got him caught up was he was too sexy. You can't be that hot and be an actual. Leader, the vanity is gonna take over. Yeah. Because if you're that hot, you don't want to waste it. I don't care what any hot person says. If you're that sexy, if you got D'Angelo's popping, yeah, you're not gonna waste that on just your wife, yeah, and your congregate. He was taking shirtless pictures with Justin Bieber. There's no world where that's not to get pussy. Yeah. No, his his fucking abs look like a helicopter was supposed to land on him. He they, was shiny, and he's white. They don't get shiny. Yeah. No, he and was his greased. Shit was <laughs> and they're not even shiny like that. He was <laughs> greased, and then he thought if he put on glasses, it would make us take him like treat him like a, a scholar. And it's like, nah, dog. Listen, I've been thinking about that. I saw you had those. And then when I was at the daiquiri bar, my buddy gave me some fake glasses. Yeah. I'm thinking about wearing fake glasses. You got to get some fake glasses, man. It's a pretty cool move. Yeah. I, I think Warby Parker was a sponsor for three minutes on this podcast. Really? We probably still have a, a oh, code a we code. can use. What do you tell them when they don't? Do you have to say, listen, I just want like the ones you have on no, the rack. I, I don't need a prescription <laughs> in there. Here's how you do it. You say, I want blue light lenses. 
Oh, that's how you got. That's how you get. Yeah, because okay. that's for the screens and shit. Blue blockers. Blue, well, yeah, that's uh, I think where that word comes from. Do you yeah. use those? Are yeah. your glasses blue blockers? No, blue blockers are a brand. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking. Blue about. blockers are those big old thick ones that your grandma used to wear oh, okay. because of the sun. They had convinced old people late at night that the sun was was going to be the thing that killed them. And so they got these big old thick glasses. Okay, but the ones for TV and screens, you just say they're blue light lenses. Blue light lenses, and yeah. then you can get and then you can get whatever Ooh, the fuck man. you want. Just know if you see me outside, <laughs> Gucci blue lights. Don't say anything. Don't say a word. <laughs> my boy, my boy, he's got a lot of screen time. He got to yeah. protect his eyes. That's all, man. That's a whole new me with glasses. Mm -hmm. I might start selling weed again. Whoa. That's a step backwards, I think. Why are Depending we on how in we're going to do it, direction. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're going to turn into turn your shit into a dispensary, this feels like a a step. Uh, well, not, not in, forward. We don't. I didn't say where. Mm, I got you. There's places you can still make money selling weed. Yeah, that's what are we talking about? Uh, selling weed at high schools. I think but is where. You're <laughs> <going>. <laughs> Because <laughs> kids don't know the prices. They don't know, and they can't go to a dispensary to find out. So I remember when I was a kid, I used to pay people like 10 bucks for a 40. Whoa. Keep the chain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the question of time being uh, controlled by the, the white devil does not feel fully false to me. Now, will, I just don't see the advantage. I, <sighs> I don't think that that's actually going to make black people show up on time ever. No, I mean, I think that I believe in CPT. I like, I just don't. I think CPT, though, as far as it relates to like, I think other people are just not as time Nazis because they're not as money obsessed. Like, this whole time is like, you know what I mean? When time becomes a commodity in that yeah. way. Then I think that's when people get to be like, we gotta be, but like, I don't agree with this one. I don't, I also don't think that people are different in the way that like time would affect them. Although white people do objectively age terribly. Mm. Say more. So time is beating that ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because they're collecting all the time. Right. Maybe that's what happens. That's a symptom of hoarding time. Yeah, you you just like <laughs> you just have it all pressed into you at once and it like just fucking eats you alive from yeah. the inside. Cause like me personally, I was born in sixty eight. Like I looked amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do the mandal shit. Yeah. Man, I'm fifty eight years old. It makes you look so much better. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, because why is that? Why are they aging so bad? Yeah. I mean, some they, of... Kids kill them. Like, some of what we've we've talked about on this podcast is the possibility that, that white skin also is not, in fact, indigenous to this earth, that that they are they are not built for for the world that we currently live in, and, and they are, in fact, the aliens that descended upon the planet, and, and that is why... The sun is poisonous to them and all of that. I don't know. It does feel... I mean, although lately, I've been having a lot of black people tell me to wear sunscreen. Mm. It's like, it never used to be a thing. What do you think that is? Pussy. Uh, <laughs> being pussies. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. But it never used to like... It used to be like a given... And now it's like very a given that none of us were. Sunscreen. Yeah, and now it 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 feels fairly frequently people are like coming you, at me about it. Do you think that some of it it was just a given because of ego that like we were all like I'm in collective agreement that like we're not going to fold to sunscreen, and then at some point we did, and now everybody's being more honest that we do in fact need it sometimes. I mean, I've never had a sunburn. But you, I think, are, uh, and say I mean it. this respectfully. If you say African booty scratcher, I'll be walking out. <laughs> She's like, respectively, you are a tar baby. <laughs> you are uh, from the mud. Uh, no, I, Truly a charcoal briquette of a man. I would say that you are, you are pretty 
far on the dark side of the spectrum, right? That's why I'm saying I don't think people are saying even me. My friend, she's an esthetician. Yeah. She's like, even you, you should be wearing sunscreen. I'm but like, I have seen, and and you probably have seen more of it. I've seen dark skinned people in the African sun who have like those dark splotches right where right. like the sun has beat their ass it just doesn't burn the same way that like white skin does you know what i mean like you see all those like old grandmas like my mom lives in ghana right and there's a bunch of like older ladies in that community who have like these really dark spots on their faces how and, old though and they're like in their 60s 70s whatever yeah they're already on the way out <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you do, you, and you're saying you think that sunscreen would have prevented that. I think that sunscreen certainly could, or it would have slowed help slow some of what's happening to them. I mean, it it might partially be ego because now, if I'm telling you how my gut is feeling, yeah, I want to fight. Sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I don't like no, no, no. You even insinuating. Listen, I have my hands ready to yeah, put them up. <laughs> I don't like you even insinuating that there's some situation where I need some special extra lotion right, to go right, outside right, to protect like yourself. it makes me like my hands are up yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because i feel offensive because you're gonna maul me right 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 <laughs> so i mean yeah there could be some ego to it yeah i do want to check in you can't see him hans mm, hans <laughs> do you wear sunscreen I definitely had the ego thing where I thought for a long time I didn't have to. Yeah. And I would be like, no, I got brown skin. I don't burn. But then I started burning and now I sometimes wear sunscreen. Yeah. Fuck. I think you guys have to repeat into the mics. I don't know how much they can hear me. Okay. I, Is that mic right there? Yeah. I don't want to repeat. Anything. Yeah, you just got to come on. <laughs> no, it was fine. We can cut this part, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for trying to involve the room. Uh, so yeah, Hans didn't show up too good. <laughs> so what you guys miss? Hans said, "I ain't no bitch." He yeah. stormed out. He said, "Suck my dick, bitch." Yeah, I, I mean, listen, man. How? So you wear sunscreen? Not often. When? But but if we're doing a beach day, I'm gonna put some on. If we're like, if I'm in Vegas and we're like hitting the pools and shit, I'm yeah. gonna put some on. Okay. I, I'm going to burn. How long does the bottle last you? A uh, long time because okay. I'm not using it very often. Okay, okay. And and Do my daughter tan? is. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Then I was starting to feel like I'm I'm an alien. What, wait, do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? My skin does what everybody's skin does. You not don't a, tan? Not everybody. You don't get any tanner? Nigga, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You could get darker than this. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> you, ain't, <laughs> you ain't Jimin Hansu. <laughs> it could get it could get darker. Yeah, no, I don't tan at all. No. It's 365. Damn. I'm all one color too. I'm not even splotchy really. No, yeah, you're yeah. consistent. This, you should see my dick. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm thing. good. <laughs> I'm not not in a casting couch. Sure, sure, sure. I just mean tonally. Yeah. No, my my first of all, my penis is darker than I am. Really? Yeah, much darker. Wow. Yeah. I and it's not I haven't thought about it, but I would not have thought that is you, what I mean. What you you would have thought consistent? Yeah. Just top to bottom yeah. all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Weird. I think white guys in general uh, crazy dicks. Yeah, they their dicks are different colors than than their everything else. If that's what it takes to take over the world, I don't want. It. <laughs> oh, purple, huh? Yeah, <laughs> them things look nuts. <laughs> God gave you red hair and a gray dick. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I think whatever that that white guy gene is uh, okay is deep inside of me. If I were to, do you get like a farmer's tan? Like if you if mm -hmm. like if I took my shirt off right now, my neck and my chest are very different colors right now. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We all have our cross to bear. I have hair on my shoulders. It's not like it's all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm mostly hairless. Really? On the top and then the bottom. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like one of those mythical goats. See, I'm weird because I don't have like really any leg hair or anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't start to the waist up, really. Mm. Yeah. So we opposites. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. We make one full outfit. <laughs> <laughs> we make one full Bigfoot. Yeah. Man, <laughs> your bottom and my top, that's a weird dude. Come on, man. <laughs> 
That guy don't know how to socialize. No, he's also not structurally sound. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you're going to fall over. Yeah. <laughs> Let us get you a rascal scooter, man. You can't yeah, keep living like this. Something gone terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not, you're not at all bought into the idea that time is in fact a white construct. I think it's a white construct. Do mm-hmm. I think there's some alternate timeline that we exist on that would be more optimal to us? I no, mm-hmm. I don't think so because it's still it's just a thing we made. It's just a form of measurement we made. It's like it's the same way that I don't feel like we're at a disadvantage for not being metric other than it's harder to consume yeah. or to, to convert. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's a measurement. It's not like I don't I don't think I don't I don't think it is racial at all. Yeah, I, I think I would be more bought into it being sort of like this this very clear racial divide if we had our separate calendar. Right, like our separate if like they clock. hadn't dropped the fucking ball. Yeah, if Muhammad <laughs> and Muhammad, if you're listening, <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> but I, I do think if we had our own fucking clock, and and that they, would be great. That would be dope. If Black Americans got yeah, it, yeah, we got our own national anthem. Yeah, and now we need our own clock. We're gonna meet. We're gonna meet downtown at Cool Thirty. <laughs> Spelled with a K. <laughs> I'll see you at Jazz 15. <laughs> I haven't eaten since Whitney Houston 17. <laughs> that would be fun. That'd be great. If we could pick 12 things. We got to make up our, our clock. And and so in philosophy, I think that is that is where we would challenge you is. Well, no, let me step in and say. Look out for the My Mama Told Me Clock oh, merch coming soon. That was, that's fair. We sell our own clocks. Yeah, fuck you in philosophy. We, yeah. You, you planted the seed and we're running with it and we are not cutting you in on the deal. I not want, even a little bit. I want nine o'clock to be me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can pick whatever. <laughs> and you do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. I just want nine o'clock. I think that's a good one. <laughs> I want Midnight to be that meme of that lady who's bent down after that long day on the show. Oh, that's a good yeah, midnight. That's a great midnight. That's a good midnight. She's tired. I think six should just be an Air Force One. Mm. Because anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's already building. This could be socializing hours, or this could be I'm gonna jump your your uncle hours. Yeah, it's a half out. black, half white mm. Air Force One. A psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People don't talk about that enough because the Black Air Force One obviously is a fighting shoe. It is it is we objectively a shoe of violence and, yes. and and chaos. Yeah. But and the white Air Force One is is more a shoe of celebration and, and jubilance. Yeah, jubilance. I think that's a great word for yeah. it. But the black and white Air Force One is is truly a murderer. That is a a pure like just evil sent out into the world on a foot. I just made some on Nike custom. <laughs> I and I do not take back what I said. <laughs> I just, There's no I just part of me a... that wants to to reassess it or or review. Are you talking black with the white checks? I'm talking black. Remember, there was the Air Force One that was oh that cut was down, down the, middle. the middle. Oh no no black that's, and white. That's a yeah that's crazy. That's no, the crazy. That's one. yeah no that's like yeah you're gonna eat. A oh, human. That's yeah. a bad one. That's yeah. a bad air. Okay, we're in agreement. Yeah, that and mids. Cut the mids out. Yeah, you got to make a choice. What are you doing? Take it mids. high, take it low, but but make a choice. <sighs> I saw Scotty Pippen in some mids the other day on Instagram, and I was like, that's why she's not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I see why all these bad things are happening to you, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, you wear mids, you idiot. You know what makes Scotty sad, though, is like a part of Yeah. <laughs> A part of you wonders, can he afford the the cooler ones, or did he just get the those because those are in his budget? It's going so bad. Scotty is not doing good. I'm man. really worried for him. I was I was rooting for Scotty. I was never against Scotty. I was no. always rooting for Scotty. Even during the documentary, went in. You know, the documentary blew. Where they up. tried to play him out. For they played sure. him out hard, and I remember there was like a large swath of the internet that was sort of like very actively being like man fuck scotty pippen he was being a bitch yeah which come on michael you're gonna why you, uh, just let scotty be 
Come on, man. Happy, man. He's a grown man called Scotty. You haven't done enough? <laughs> he came into the league as Scott Pippen Jr. <laughs> he also named his son Scotty, but spelled it differently than his Scotty. That's a man who's underwater. Come on. Oof. His name is spelled with an I-E. His son's name is spelled with a Y. That's complicated. You know what yeah. I mean? It's funny because Scotty, and I don't, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I will. Say, I don't know why I feel this way. Yeah, Scotty with the I E seems like a girl's name. Oh, and then Y to me seems like a boy. Y is the boy's name. For yeah, you. just like Bobby. Same same rules. Mm. I don't know that I can undo so much of uh, what he was in my childhood. You're from Chicago to make that that connection. I'm from, yeah, I wasn't in Chicago. Yeah, you weren't. You didn't grow up. With. I had no love. There used to be a sports drink for kids that Scottie Pippen made called Zippin' with Pippen. Uh, and and it, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a big fan. <laughs> Do they, is it discontinued? Yeah, I don't think they could sell it back then. I think it was truly Man. poison. I wonder if we could get it like a case of Zippin' with Pippen. I would, if there's if anybody out there. If we could get a case. There, and do like a vintage zipping with Pippin tasting, bro. Would you be? In <laughs> I would do. <laughs> I would do it every episode. <laughs> I would end every you would episode really drink it? With, by saying, "And now for our our and our our weekly zipping with Pippin tasting this week, uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> it's Scotty Strawberry." I bet you, is was that the flavor? I don't know. It was something dumb, Man. probably. They, there's no way it was inventive. You know what I mean? I bet you we could find some zipping with Pippin. It's it's a it's a hard drink to come by, I think. But I bet we I bet there's an eBay. I bet. I mean, if you can still get clear pips, can, yeah. Somebody's got somewhere somewhere in a basement mm -hmm. in Chicago. Somebody's sitting on like a case of They were like, it's coming back. It's coming back. And I'm about to go crazy. They all laughed at me. They, yeah. said, <laughs> they said, Jerome, why are you buying this by the case? Yeah. It's never going to laugh. No. I'll have my day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at everybody looking it up. Everybody's trying yeah, to figure jam out. And strawberry. Slam and jam and strawberry. That sounds yeah, right. Slam yeah. And jam and strawberry. Okay. Okay. How much for a case? Can't buy it all that's that's the problem. It's Damn. it's hard to come by. Damn. It was a rare. It it had like a. I feel like like a three year window. Commercial. Yeah, there's a commercial. That's right. That's oh, exactly that was right. Good. No, he had a sports drink, dog. Look at that. And he and we were drinking that <laughs> because Scotty Pippen in our eyes had not been. Tainted. No, by, you didn't know it was gonna happen. I didn't know Future was gonna fuck his wife. Future didn't know Future. <laughs> I bet you Future knew. Future was drinking. <laughs> Future was drinking a, a zipping with Pippin and being like, "I'm gonna fuck this man's wife. <laughs> this tastes so good. I'm gonna fuck his wife." That's back when he was called Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I like? I was an all sport guy. You remember all sport? Mm. It was like carbon. <laughs> It was like a sports drink, but it was carbonated. No, that's not what sports drinks. <laughs> no, are it was to be. insane. You don't remember all? Sport? I don't remember all. Sport. Oh, all sport. We should get. We should get an all sport taste. Yeah, I bet they got some of that. Whoa! So it was Gatorade, but with bubbles in it. I think it was made by Coca Cola Company. Okay, if I'm not, it's like I want to say it's like pre Fruitopia. Mm. Right, I think it was before Fruitopia. Yeah, because Fruitopia was one I liked for a while too. Fruitopia had a little run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for it was if you were Bohemian. Oh yeah, Fruitopia was like cool. Like, yeah, it was like, for the hippie. Yeah, you had to really prefer Fruitopia. Like all the kids who drank Fruitopia went on to smoke weed like the next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a Fruitopia was for sure a gateway to yeah, like yeah, yeah. smoking gas. Yeah, it's like now your your parents are should have seen the signs. Yeah, yeah, it was like you got you got some Fruitopia. Mm -hmm. Maybe you start listening to Bob Marley a little louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time for some organized <laughs> sports. You keep walking in the house and saying Wagwan. Yeah. Like, hey man, hey man, you're not from there. Stop. You start calling it rhythm. <laughs> so, oh, so I think it sounds like we're in agreement. That, I think so. That in philosophy, uh, while we we certainly do subscribe to the possibility that the that time is not a construct invented by black and brown people. 
it is not necessarily uh, one that is continuing to be weaponized against us as much as we just ain't really got a, a solid hold of it the way that we should. And nobody loves a time Nazi, man. Just yeah, relax. no. It's... Like, like I, I think it speaks to that more of just, like, a culture of being more relaxed about things. And I do think that's great. That That's a, a good leaving point for us is, like, at the end of the day, white people got to chill the fuck out relax. about time. Yeah. It's, it's not that we can't handle the time that exists. Y'all just are being real stringent about the shit in a way that's annoying and not fun. Yeah, it's like I I plan my days out as much as the next person, but I mean, you gotta have some leeway. Yeah, just a little wiggle room. Yeah, come on. Why man. we gotta start right at the the time that we said? I hate it when you do like you're doing like events or something, or you mm-hmm. go somewhere with white people, and then they're just like, "We gotta do this, 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 this today." And yeah. you're like, "I'm here because I'm not at work." <laughs> I might do seven things today. I might do two. Yeah, I was hoping not to look at an itinerary. Yeah, at yeah. Today. I'm in the pool. Don't tell me it's time to get out. Yeah. Don't ever tell me it's time to get out of the pool. That's fair. I hate that shit. I'm not an all day. Go. No, I'm in the pool. I'm not an all day pool kind of guy, which means that you definitely don't need to tell me when we leave in the pool because I'll get out. Right. When I'm not. I'm not gonna overstay my welcome. In I might. Pool. Oh, I you might. Are. You're an all day guy. I'm. I. I mean. I'm. I'm like. I'll get out. I'll go get a drink. I'll yeah. hang out. I'll dry off completely. Yeah. I'll deep prune, and then yeah, I'll go back in if I want to. Whoa. Same with at the beach, man. I. I go. I go fuck a beach up all day. You'll sit in the sun at the beach. Yeah. I'll go in the water. Damn. Or I'll like lay down and put the towel over my face. Nah, I get too hot. Really? Yeah, it was I that sun handle. burning you? Yeah, I can't handle it. <laughs> all right, that's that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's goddamn devil blood. Do you do you bring an umbrella? Uh, we have like beach umbrellas. I'm okay. not like bringing personal ones. No, no. I mean, you're not like <laughs> that fucking movie powder. Yeah, or some I'm not. Shit. I'm not a freak. I yeah, just, uh, like a lord, a lady from the 1800s. <laughs> yeah, you know, like a parasol going. There. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I just we, we'll have some beach umbrellas and okay, and but even under the umbrellas, you're not. Nah, you know, I just I, I get. Here's the other thing: I just get bored. I'm not a beach guy. I get that. I get real bored just sitting there. I, you, I like to walk. I like to move. Like walk along the ocean. I'll do that. I'll do anything besides just sit in Chill. one place for hours and call that a good time. You never like. Sit and just take in the majesty of the ocean and the nah, sheer size of it. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, no. That's cool. Yeah, this is like different strokes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's it like, don't seem that majestic to me. Oh man, it's like it's like jaw dropping. It freaks me out sometimes. Looking and you'll just it. sit and look at it. If I'm by myself, I'm like I'm not I'm not a psychopath. I'm like out with people. I'm aware of what's <laughs> going. You know what I mean? Sure. But like. Yeah, I can look. I can just look at, but I also detect. I I also just sometimes will just like walk around for hours mm. and not really know what's going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I can just do that. Mm-mm. Nah, not you me. know we're different guys. Very yeah, different guys. And different that's... jerseys is like so like. <laughs> we play for different teams. Yeah, apparently. Uh, but but I think we did it. I think this is... We did something. We talked for a while. We talked for a long time. That is pretty good. Most of it's useless, but the parts that are good, <laughs> we're going to cut those up and turn it into something valuable. Yeah, there's probably one... Of, all that Jesus stuff was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to Do you want to tell the people where they can find you and what cool shit you have uh, going on? You can find me at CoolGuyJokes87 on Instagram. Uh, I'm going on... The Aluminum Foil Tour. You can check out all those dates at bringdavidaplate.com. And, uh, no, I can't promote anything because, you know. Yeah. Same. And, and if, <laughs> even if I could, I don't have much to to tell you about at this point. But but we are on tour. I don't even know if this is going to be useful for, for that timing. But if it is, you better come see us. Yeah. Come um, on out. And Take pictures. Don't cut me out, you bitch. <laughs> Somebody yeah, I said cut, it. Yeah, I said it. Somebody cut David out of a, a picture at our Seattle show, and it was maybe one of the most unnecessary and mean things that, a, that they could have done. Why'd you take the picture with me? It It's really crazy <laughs> because we weren't even standing next to each other the whole time, so you could have just tapped me and been like, yo, I want a picture with you. I don't care if he's in it. 
And that would have been fine. It would have been fine. Nobody would have felt any kind of way. But you were like, nah, I'm taking a picture with him. I'm going to leave his arm a little bit in it. And I am I am going to post it as if he was not there and and frankly reference the podcast as if he does not exist as a member inside of this. And you know what? It works. So <laughs> congrats to you, redacted, because I'm not gonna say your name. Even though I know it, I'll yeah. never fucking forget it. <laughs> it's sealed in his mind. God damn it. It was real mean. But I'm glad you didn't cut me out. And and if you don't want to cut me out, you can you can Find me at Langston Kerman on Instagram and, and TikTok, I guess. I don't know where the fuck. Oh, God. Uh, and, and more importantly, if you want to send us your own drops, if you want to send us your own conspiracy theories, if you want to prove to us that that time was, in fact, once measured based off Muhammad's life and then that got usurped by the white devil as well, send it all to mymamapod at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. And that's that's the whole shebang. Bye, bitch. Because I do you look think good. that is? You I look smell good. good. I yes. feel good. And you sing good. And make love good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>